to be. So I want to talk about one other passion of yours, All which right. is Raiders. Oh my God, yeah. So you're a big Raiders fan. I'm assuming because they were in California, have you stayed with them that they moved to Vegas? And what does that yeah. do to you? You know, the weird thing is I kind of took them on in LA in the late seventies when I was in college. And then I also like wanted to seem like a tough guy. So <laughs> when like, you know, when it was the rap, when they were at the Coliseum and everyone was scared to go down there, I was like, that's for me, you know? <laughs> I didn't know I was a pirate already. <laughs> right, know? exactly. Um, they had a lot of swagger with Marcus Allen in those days and a great squad. And that's what I loved. And then I just stayed loyal. And um, there's something about being a fan of a team when they suck. <laughs> That's that's being a fan. You're talking yeah. Vikings fans here. They know about that, right? And you know what? I'm telling you something. That comeback the other day. I'm a big sports guy. That was huge. That team should have folded it when they two plays back to back for scooping scores on the. They didn't give up. Now they're first out of the playoffs. They're making the playoffs, you guys. I'm. I think the Vikes. As long as Dalvin Cook's not banged up, I don't know. They carried him off the field. Um. Not good for my fantasy team. <laughs> no, no, no. My fantasy team, I had Saquon and, oh, God. So <laughs> one of them, one of them's going to make, is in good shape. The other one, not. But, um, yeah, it's been a tough year being a Raiders fan. That The, the loss Sunday is season killer. Yeah. For and us. They thought, yeah. I thought they had turned around. I mean, they're, they're the only play, team that's played the Chiefs well. Mm -hmm. and winning one and almost winning two. And, but right. we were designed to beat the Chiefs. Kind of like if you look at what we try to do, we try to like rugs against Tari like we're trying to match their spots, right? We have a great tight end. They have, but our defense doesn't play intelligently and we can't sack the quarterback. So that's going to put too much pressure when we play, you know. And then Atlanta, they choked away so many games. They got Arthur Blank, who owns Home Depot. He'll fire the coach if they don't. You know, he's a kind of like, he's a real, like, I don't know. Football's so gladiatorial for me. It's very Ben-Hur. I love it. It's theatrical, all sports. When the lights come down, I get excited, man. Boxing. My favorite theater guy was Bertolt Brecht, the legendary German playwright. And he always would say that I prefer my audience like a man at a boxing match smoking a cigarette. He didn't want his audience getting emotionally attached to the characters. So when you watch Mother Courage or some of his great shows, Three Penny Opera, um, there's a distance between the character and the audience. Now in our world, like my job is to suck you all in. Hyper-realism of the modern kind of TV. So. It's very interesting. I mean, I think you probably noticed a big change in what the stuff is in the last five, 10 years, especially the last five. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, Lee, thank you, my friend. Of it's course. Been, we're going to have Chloe is going to come on, if you, um, who I'm going to introduce in a moment, but it's been so great having you. And um, yeah, we can round up. We're doing uh, thank you very much, oh, everybody. <laughs> I will take my leave. Chloe, have a great show. Break a leg. Thank you so much, Rabbi. Thank you, Lee. Let's Always do it again. Good. Best of. I'm looking for a good synagogue in Minnesota where, where your hookup. Yeah, I, I believe it. Next time I'm out there, I'll look you up, brother. I'll come for a service, a little half dollar or something, you know? I love it. All right. Sounds good. All right. All the best, everyone. Have a great, happy Hanukkah, healthy New Year. Stay safe and sane from the Corona bug. Lots <laughs> of love. Lots of love. Thanks, Lee. Thanks, everybody.